Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we're actually working on a 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. I guess it's not a Dodge anymore, but it's a Ram 1500. So we kind of seen it play in. We're like, man, the damage doesn't look that bad. And we picked it up pretty cheap. Check out the price. Yeah, they salvaged out just for the front end hit. It doesn't look that bad at all. So we're like, man, it's a run and drive. Not bad miles. How many miles were there? Like 89,000? Yeah, it's like, what? Man, that's not bad at all. So no airbags deployed. We're like, man, if we pick it up cheap, and we, I feel like we got a good price on it. But yeah, let's check it out. Let's check out the damage. Let's check out the good parts about it. And hopefully it'll be a nice quick flip. I mean, within hopefully eight hours, we'll get this thing done. Cause we obviously see it needs a bumper, headlight, fog lights. So we got that stuff already ordered. It's coming in. Should be in soon. We'll get take it apart, get the parts painted, put it back together. Hopefully we can rebuild this thing in no time. All right, brought it inside. It'd be a lot easier to take apart here. Before I take it apart, let's check out the inside. Overall, the doors look really good over here on this side. I don't see any more damage on it. Interior is nice. It got power started right up. It's actually really clean. Like I mentioned, no airbags deployed. It's not bad at all. There's not much room for the back seats, but hey, they're there if you need them, you know. Looks at 89,000 miles. Looking real good, real clean. Definitely worth saving. And hopefully it won't take much to get it back on the road. Nice. This side looks good, it got good tires, good rims. Also looks really clean on this side. Got toolbox, what? Some goodies in the back, which I don't need. <laughs> but yeah, it should be a pretty simple build. Not much to it, um, yeah, looking real good. Even comes with a calculator, what? Haven't seen those in a while. But yeah, the interior's really nice. Awesome, let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart. All right guys, got the hood open, looking pretty good. Got some stuff going on in the intake, maybe somebody took off their old, you know, really cool can filter, put the stock back on, but no big deal. Basically, I'm gonna take this off, get the grill off, that way we can get to the headlight, to the bumper. Should be pretty simple, a little cover here, some bolts there, no big deal. Ain't nothing we haven't done before. Let's go ahead and get this thing ripped apart, or taken apart carefully, so we can put it back together. Yeah. And just like that, I got the bumper off. But let's check out this hidden damage. There's always some hidden damage. So it seems like my little plastic reinforcement for the fog light's broken, as you can tell right there. Also this little, I guess it's a one piece that comes on and off. Hit my rail a little bit, but that's not too bad. It looks okay. I just gotta get my brackets for the headlight, bracket for the fog light. Looks like 
think that's for the fog light itself. So should um, flip right there, so that's not a big deal. That looks pretty good. But I'll double check all the wiring, go through it. Overall, it's not too bad. It's just, like I said, fog light bracket. That's what it's supposed to look like. And the other side's all messed up. And also this little piece, messed up. But, not bad. Definitely just throw some more parts on it, replace them, get it done. All right guys, went to the dealership real quick, got all these parts, they had them in stock. So basically everything I need to get this repaired, even though this is a little bit broken, it's broken, you know, so you gotta replace it. So that's that section piece right there. And this is that big old piece for my fog lights and bumper support cover piece. It wasn't too bad, I think I paid 300 bucks for everything, so not bad. Let's get it fixed, take these parts off, and swap it out with the good ones. All right, let's go ahead and replace this big plastic piece that we have that holds our bumper slash fog lights. Even though it looks fine on that side, it is one giant piece and broken's broken, so we gotta replace the whole thing. So that was very easy taking that off. Couple bolts, no big deal. I wanna go ahead and keep going, taking apart stuff before I put it back together. Looks like I gotta take this piece off because I gotta replace that piece over there. So let's keep tearing down. So there are my broken parts, kind of mangled, and there are my new parts. Like I said, just swap them over, be good to go. Let's go ahead and get my brand new OEM straight from the dealer parts on there. It's still gonna be a salvage title, but hey, at least we got good parts on there. able to bolt it up back there. I'm actually using this Dewalt 90 degree attachment piece. It's actually pretty sweet. I mean, you can get it anywhere. Um, it's really nice to get those parts that are hard to reach because I can't get my entire drill back there so you can just get the little extension, go around and get it done and get it bolted. Looking good. So nice and simply, I'm gonna put my little uh, washer, windshield washer fluid reserver tank back on there and then just keep putting everything back together. Hopefully it all lines up, let's get it done. So off my old broken one, there's still all these hardware pieces I need, the clips, the wire harness itself is good. So you don't just throw things away, you use as much as you can. Let's transfer it over.
just like that. The bottom's looking really good. Man, those fog lights actually use like headlight bolts, so they're pretty big. But I just went in advance and bought another head uh, bulb. So we got that in there looking good. Go ahead and get my headlights installed. Let's check out what we got. All right, just went on a Facebook marketplace and got these pretty cheap. We'll do a price reveal at the end, so stay tuned for all the pricing, how much we got it for, how much the parts cost, and hopefully later how much we sell it for. All right, let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, all right guys, those are looking sweet. I really like the little you know, strip they have over there. So let's go ahead and swap out our original and get these on there. All right, so I still need to adjust the hood gap a little bit, but it's getting pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and get that front bumper on and see how it lines up. I need to go ahead and remove my old bumper brackets right there. I got one here and I got one over the other. If not, I bought one, so it's not a big deal. Let's get those transferred over and get my new painted bumper on. All right guys, bumper is on there, looking real good. Got my gaps looking nice. Not bad at all, pretty happy with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some flares on there because my wheel gap is sticking out a little bit. So it's gonna look good. I got some already. They're black and they're gonna match the door handles and the mirrors. Why not? Let's get it on there, it's gonna look good. Let's go ahead and get rid of my tag and put in our bottom plate. It's not a plate, it's just like a bumper skirt thing. <laughs> Let's get that mounted and look good. Alright guys, just like that, the flares are on, the bumper lip is on as well, it's looking really good, lining up. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. This is a really nice truck. 
not bad at all, but basically it's getting kind of late, so tomorrow morning we're just gonna do an alignment, get this thing cleaned up, and go for a test drive, and we could talk about the numbers, how much it cost us, how much parts were, how much the total was, how much we could sell it for them, probably. And also we'll mention about our last couple trucks that we did, the Silverado and our squatter truck. We sold those, the 2011 red one we did. Yeah, those are all gone. You know, we'll just talk about it, we'll review the price, and so make sure you stay tuned, and I'll let you know in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next morning. I just finished up an alignment on the truck. Let's go ahead and go for a test drive. Nice. So far, pretty smooth. I like it. I mean, we're going straight, you know. Nice. Radio works. Actually, really clean inside. Not bad at all pretty quick bill I mean definitely worth saving you know the damage wasn't that bad at all on it so but they salvaged it out so this could have went to a junkyard where they scrapped it for parts and never to see the road again but I think she's worth it so put her back in the road yeah looking good not bad at all Alright guys, and just like that, we drove, I mean honestly, great little test drive, we're gonna drive it more, you know, make sure everything works good, but not bad at all, I'm really happy with it, that was a quick, less than 8 hour build that we did basically, nice little budget build, that's gonna be a solid truck for somebody, honestly, so I'm pretty happy with it, um, yeah, turned out pretty good, not bad at all. So let's just go ahead and go back to the office and then we could talk about how much the parts were and we could do a reference to the other trucks that we did because I already sold them so we could talk about how much everything cost us versus how much we sold it for, the profit, you know, just get into the good nitty gritty, the details and stuff because I know you guys are leaving comments down below how much everything goes for so why not, let's go back to the office and we could talk about it there. Alright guys, we're back in the office so let's talk about the juicy details, the numbers and crunch it down. Okay, so our 2013 Ram, we actually got about $9,600 in it. So that's including parts and everything. So I think it's a pretty good deal for low miles, what, 89,000 miles on it. And it turned out pretty clean. So I was looking on Facebook Marketplace. They sell for about 15,000 with a salvage title. That's just what I see locally. Now I don't know if they're gonna sell for that much, but that's how much they're asking. So it kind of gives you a baseline how much we could sell it for. But like I said, I still haven't sold it. Still gonna test drive it and make sure everything's good. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. But I can talk about the vehicles that we did before couple episodes before we did the red Silverado 2012. So I'm just gonna refresh your memory. We got it for about 7,300. That was about $700 of the parts that we put on it. Cause it, it adds up here and there, little things miscellaneous, but it's about there. So around $8,000 we had in that truck and we were able to sell it for 11 within a couple days. So it did have that fender damage, but we still sold it for 11,000. Somebody came in the weekend and got it. They were happy with it. So we made about $3,000 in a day, I would say. So that was, that was actually a really good deal. We're both happy about that one. You know, quick, nice and easy. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing with our squatted truck that we got, the 2011 Silverado. It was really clean inside. No airbags deployed on it. So we still had that door damage, but we just lifted up the rear end and sold it as is. We actually got it pretty cheap, I would say. $4,600. Parts were about 900 because we had to buy some parts twice when that wheel fell off. But you know, we got the right stuff, another brake caliper, all that fun stuff. So about 5,500 bucks in it. And I sold that thing within about five to six hours. It was pretty crazy. I posted on Facebook Marketplace. My phone was exploding. I had a thousand views and about like 90 messages instantly because I posted it for $8,000. I was like, it's so hard to tell. I was looking at Facebook Marketplace and some of them, you know, clean title were going for 10,000. So I was like, all right, you know, go a little less. Posted for eight and that thing was gone. I probably could have posted it for more, but like I said, people were ready to drive from Asheville. I mean, hour to half from here, they were ready to drive, you know, they're like, hey, locally, I'm coming tonight. So I sold it basically at 10 o'clock at night within a couple hours of posting it. And he loves it, he's happy with it, and we made money on it, so that's pretty cool. But before you quit your day job and start flipping trucks and be like, yeah, this is it, you know, easy money, 
calm down. Like I said, we've been doing this for a long time, about 13 years of experience, and it's not always wins. We still got that blue F-150, again, no hits on it, and it's kind of rough, so we might take a loss there. And we've definitely done builds even for months, and we lost money on it too. So it's not like all fun and games, everything you buy is gonna be great. Like I mentioned before, Copart is either a gold mine or a land mine. So sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It's part of the game, and depending on what you put into it. I mean, we're definitely spending countless hours here at the shop, just hustling, getting stuff done. So that's also involved. We're not counting any of the cost, how much we're putting into it, you know, our personal time, but just parts and, you know, the raw material itself. But yeah, it's looking good. We're still going at it. Let us know if you like these kind of videos about the details and stuff, if you like these budget bills that we're doing. Leave some comments below if you guys are up for it. We'll post some more, not a problem. You know, it's kind of like a day job that we're doing here and there. But we still have our Duramax that we're building for the shop. Hopefully we'll get that done soon. And we've got some more builds coming, guys. But thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.